Hello Leo, welcome to your money career reading from the middle of November till middle of December. This reading is for anyone who has a Leo placement such as Ascendant, Sun or Moon. Please have in mind this is a general reading so take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest behind. In this reading I'm gonna check all the most important messages, information for developments Anything to do with Leo, money, career, professional life, everything that concerns their well-being in the area of work, money projects, business adventures, anything to do with Leo and their money and career. Then after this reading i'm gonna pull a few cards to see how energies are continuing from the end of december to the beginning of year 23 so let's see leo what the universe has in store for you and it's you the strength card then we have eight of pentacles Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. And right here and right now, Page of Cups. I'm gonna pull out one major arcana for Leo from middle of November till middle of December to check what are the general energies. And you have the High Priestess, Leo. High Priestess is an energy of you trusting the unknown, you being in touch with your intuitive side, your intuitive approach to things, which tells me that not everything is quite well presented in a way that you can see it and you can read it uh, easily. It's like things are hidden one way or another from your side so you are adva um, advised and uh, you know pointed to this intuitive approach that you might take a deeper understanding that not everything is as it seems this is very important for you to understand because there is a victory you try to achieve in this period you might want to be in your best vibration again this is one way to look at it but there is a victory that you want to achieve it might be a victory that it's to do with an eternal demon that you want to put into the light and not let it bother you again over and over again but i think it's a victory to do with a work project that all of a sudden had to speed up, had to be, you know, produced much faster, turned to be, you know, a rapid development into something that wasn't planned like that. And this might be raising some negativity to do with you doubting that the victory is going to be yours. It's one way to look at the situation. Another way to look at the situation is that there is an enemy Someone that it's against you in a money-making process, a money-making mechanism. You being master of your craft, being the best in what you do, being the top into whatever field you are, using your talents in, in order to be really successful. And there might be somebody, a pretender, for your... <laughs> For your money literally or cut of it or a rapid development that wasn't really planned it's like all of a sudden instead of steady logical natural progress eight nine ten there is an interruption interruption of somebody that it's you know very hostile 
I don't know what that might be, but I'm just reading my cards. At the same time, there is an emotional new offer coming to you right here and right now. I hope you have the time to recognize the potential that it carries because although it might look innocent and young and, you know, a little bit, let's say, unstable or out of nowhere, it has a potential in it. I hope you are able to see it. Overly looking in the situation presented in front of me, why do I have the feeling that there is <clears throat> like not just a small, but it might be, you know, for some Leos, it might be some kind of a danger, undercover, danger in terms of some enemy that it's really well hidden. They are not really, you know, losing their disguise because they are using different tools to attack you. It's, they have the ability to be very, you know, <laughs> unpleasant in your business for some reason. They have all the knowledge to be deadly if you if you like if this is how you can read it as well but but i see that for some of you leos there is some danger from a very you know competent and somebody that has the potential to hurt you let's put it this way to be very very exact and very very honest with you somebody that has the potential to hurt you actually is sending their messengers to you know start the fight check your security check your stability check your ability to fight back to do with a big amount of money a big success in your mastercraft whatever it whatever that is and you might be receiving an additional support emotional support or news with somebody that has the potential to be of a help for you that's another way to look at it but please take the time to you know go through your whatever situation it is and see for yourself because this can be an enemy i'm sorry to say that but it's how i see it leo you need to know something up till 7th of Jan uh, not 7th of march 2023 saturn is in your opposite sign of aquarius which means that you're gonna have opposition to whatever you want to do it's like second guesses split of your ability to take decision all to do with that for some of you it might be somebody working against you like saturn can do this to you we have knight of cups clarifying the strength card the wheel of fortune clarifying eight of pentacles queen of cups clarifying the knight of swords and the empress clarifying ten of pentacles bottom of the deck as a final outcome for this period is two of swords i'm gonna be pulling one more card to clarify why is this two of swords the final card for Leo's reading when it comes to money, business, career in November and December. Why is it here, Two of Swords? Huh. Do you ask for more than you des deserve, Leo? It's like, <laughs> or are you sure what you want to achieve? It's another way to look at it. As I said, Saturn is in. Aquarius, the opposing sign to Leo, and it's literally giving you this energy. You don't know which way to go. It's like one or another, one or another, but not the chariot. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you clear in your heart, in your mind, where is it that exactly that you want to go? That, that's why I'm asking you, because this is really a blocking energy. It's not something that cannot be, you know organized in a way to move on top of it but it's still something that 
it's really like bothering me to see as a final outcome you having second guesses because you might pushing too much for something that it's not yours it or it doesn't belong to you or because you don't know what is that you want is the two ways to look at it nevertheless i believe that on top of your situation you actually entering middle of november and so on through december i believe the turning point for you to start feeling you know much more positive developments into your money career sector is going to be after 22nd of after 22nd of november first part and then after 21st of december it's all because of jupiter jupiter is gonna enter areas around 20 22nd of december which means that it's gonna give you much needed support to grow to move forward the ability to you know to be very successful all of a sudden but the first wave is gonna come when jupiter actually turns from retrograde mode to a regular mode and it's gonna be around 21st 22nd 23rd of november so it's like two stages then you're gonna feel a completely different turn of events i believe starting from 20th of november till 20th of december you're gonna have a momentum to, to change the things to your benefit although you know the final card is telling me that you might be asking for something that it's not yours or you don't really know what you are aiming for you're still gonna make progress <coughs> excuse me as i said at the beginning your ability to read between what is out there to be seen is gonna be the key to success for you being abundant and successful it's gonna be a momentum in which you're gonna realize there is the right time to act over on or on top of any hostile intention or any rapid push to develop whatever part or all of the, your project into something else because this is what i see outside conditions pushing you you know to in a way ruin the natural flow of things and not only that I believe that you are going to have the psychic ability, Leo, to really see through any situation. If there is an enemy, you're going to be able to find out who they are. Although it's not going to be an easy task. It's not going to be so easy for you because they are very, very competent. But you are also very, very competent, Leo you are also going to have the lucky turn of event in your favor it's like the universe is giving you this opportunity yes you're already willing and able but still you're gonna have a momentum in which to react and be abundant actually this process it's not only gonna in a way save you some profit and save you some money but actually it's going to give you the ability to multiply it. It's like you're working on multiplying your abundance. And of course, when you have the mind as such, somebody always wants to be, you know, <laughs> benefiting on top of you. Let's put it this way. And what I try to say is that you're going to act on your emotions. You're going to find what is really the key to your success and to you being your base best shape your best form your best victorious leo and you're gonna do it you're gonna go with this emotion and this is the victorious you know approach it comes through your heart and through your emotions the emotions to do with everything remember you have the queen of cups here this is the energy of someone that is quite aware of what they carry the most what makes them you know unique special and talented gifted they 
recognize it, they appreciate it, and they don't keep it only to themselves. It's what they use as a as a magic spell, you know, to compel everyone around them. But it's not with the negativity, it's with the positivity actually. Taking good care, reading their minds in terms of giving them exactly what they want. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is actually the march of success for you. This is you coming to your own best self, Leo. There are still works that needs to be, you know, processes that need your attention. I'll be completely honest. You might be receiving what you are desiring in this time and period and in this moment of time. There is still work to be done, but yet you're going to have the momentum to deal with it and to protect your well-being, Leo. I still have the feeling that there is somebody that it's, wants to have a cut, if not all of your profit. Let's see how this is continuing from middle of December till end of 2022 and beginning of 23. Show me more about the development in money career sector for Leo from middle of December and so on. Chariot energy again. Gonna confirm it with three pullouts. And then I'm gonna finish. Leo, season of Sagittarius is extremely important to you. <coughs> Pardon me. This is going to be a moment in which it's like everything is going to start falling into place in the bigger picture around you. More clarity, more understanding, more, you know, ability to understand the bigger picture in which your success story is placed into. And uh, I believe that you're going to manage to get clear on what you really want probably in this whole period in middle of november middle of december you're gonna really have the opportunity to you know check again confirm everything that you are planning everything that you wanted to achieve and if something it was too much or not enough it's gonna be added to the target and you're gonna be unstoppable you've done a lot of efforts and you expect some results and the results are coming it might not be in january i believe it's more likely to be after uh 21st 22nd of december and so on when jupiter enters areas again then it's going to give you a quite powerful support and you're going to be really benefiting from it. So don't you lose your cool because <laughs> you don't know that exactly when you don't expect it, you're going to have the additional support. It's about your emotions. Is this success situation this victory situation getting on your emotional health leo because i see a lot of cups here and leo is emotional but leo is strong also i see you being successful maybe not exactly in january but maybe after end of january and then february and march and after 7th of March, once Saturn leaves Aquarius, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to have the, bre the breath that you need to take in order to really be unstoppable. Until then, there are lessons. Teach the hard way from Saturn. But it cannot go on forever, Leo. That's all I have for you for this time period. I hope you 
like this reading, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, leave a comment, share and I will see you middle of December for your overall 2023 money and career reading. All the best from me Rio, be strong, be you.